Well, today in Growing STEM, we are highlighting the hard work that area high school students have put in for the VEX Robotics State Championship. VEX makes, makes educational robots for students starting in pre-K through high school, and teams have been building and competing all year to get to this stage. Now there's just one more goal in sight. Take a look. 96 teams have come to Akron. The matches really do get pretty intense. To find out who's the best. To be able to compete with all these schools that have dominated all season. In the VEX Robotics State Championship. It's very much a tactical uh, competition rather than a battle bot type of competition. Each year, a different game is created to put a team's robot building skills to the test. This is STEM problem solving disguised as competitive fun in an arena where failure is rewarded. The faster you fail, the more efficient you become at playing the different games that they come out every year because you learn what works and what doesn't work. The skills that this platform gives you allows them to be prepared for whatever they are going to go into in the future. This year, the students are playing Spin Up, a head-to-head -head game where robots toss small discs into goals. But throughout the match, there are additional ways to score. This is, has to be probably one of our hardest tournaments just because it's from the best of the best all over the state and everyone has fought hard to get into this tournament because they know it can get you to the next level. And that next level, the World Championship in Dallas, Texas. I'm really excited. I think we can do really well at Worlds. I'm also really proud. We got eight teams at Worlds, the best in Ohio. Brexville Broadview Heights High School is on their way after winning the state tournament. Now they're relying on all the lessons they've learned to take it up a level. Well, I've learned so much stuff, engineering, programming, just teamwork wise, to, like actual life lessons. We start with two goals. One, it's to learn. Two, to have fun. Yes, winning helps the fun part, definitely. Craig Kowatch has taken teams to Worlds nine years in a row. Now it's not just going for the experience, it's going because they know they, they can compete at that top level. They'll be facing teams from over 30 countries in the world's largest robot competition. I can't wait to compete there, can't wait to have fun with friends, can't wait to meet people. I mean, 50 countries there would be crazy. Isn't that incredible? It's really neat. <laughs> they get those robots to shoot the little frisbees into the, the baskets. I can't even do that myself, let alone get a, a robot to do it. Uh, we should mention that the Brexville Broadview Heights team is not the only ones to qualify for the world championship. Northeast Ohio is going to be well represented with teams from Akron Public Schools, Elyria, Brookside, Norwalk, Worcester, and the National Inventors Hall of Fame STEM School all made it too. Worlds will be taking place April 25th through May 4th. So very, very exciting time. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. And, I mean, we've got a pretty good chance of getting some hardware there. And, again, that's the world championship. So this is not just other, other schools in the state or in the region. This is worldwide. Have you ever seen the show, I, I wish I knew the name of it, where the robots battle? Battlebots. Battlebots. <laughs> Chris Rose, who's a Cleveland guy, he comes on the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show all the time. He's the host of that show, and he put me onto it last week when he was a guest on the show. It's pretty cool, And right? I watched my first episode, and my mind was blown. Yeah, like all of what a sudden the buzzsaw the... comes out, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> no, it's, 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 and they knock them like 40 feet in the air. <laughs> toss them out of the ring. Crazy stuff. It is. It's like WWF for nerds. That's right, with robots. That's yeah. it.